Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to vlog. Let it snow now because I don't care about the weather now that we've loaded it. Let's go inside and see what's going on today. Tell you what, it's crazy. Look at lights are on over here. Oh my gosh. It is looking so crazy in here. Oh my God, it's so cool. I tell you what, it's wild to just see the difference of what's going on just in a matter of a few days. Uh, I mean, I tell you what. And now Stuart, a few other people, we just have a couple people here today. So in a way, I love the fact that everyone's here helping out, but now I can kind of really get into it and get all these little things going on. I gotta get the anaconda cage back going. We're filled up with water today. A uh, bunch of little things. We are making some huge progress, you know, but the little detail work takes a tremendous amount of time. All of the little bit of seaming and fixturing and all this type of stuff. Of course, we've gotta do lighting and all the rest on the rest of the enclosure. So we've got our work cut out for us, but man, I tell you what, I couldn't imagine it just a handful of days ago this was an empty spot and now it's full I mean this is truly guys it is a dream come true but we have our work cut out for us so let's just go ahead buckle up have a great day together and jump right in now what Eric Noah where are you time to fill the anaconda cage up again looking good today who tell it this thing looks amazing with the lights on we've got the tree in here and the moss going on so we're gonna go ahead fill this back up get the waterfall back on Test it for a couple days to make sure it's in good shape. Keep tweaking the temperatures, the lighting, all that type of stuff, but I love this enclosure. Definitely, I said it before, this is the centerpiece of the entire place, so uh, it's looking amazing. So the guy came out, fixed this glass, pretty painless to be honest with you. He did it in no time. Crazy to see that he actually used fire to warm it up, to crack it. I mean, that is absolutely wild. So this is good. Now all we have to do is get this decal put on and the front is done. Okay, the water is kind of at that point where we're gonna fill it up to here, but I'm gonna get it going uh, just to make sure everything is going well. And, uh, and then we'll get it to the levels that we want. But we're gonna plug it in right now and see what happens. It just takes a while for the actual pump to fill up the biofall. When that's filled up, then it'll start to overflow again. These are our intakes. We have an intake way down low, then an intake here that basically the water flows in. The pump is in this chamber here, then it sucks the water through, goes through here. And that's where all our bio medium is, where it's gonna basically filter the water and stuff like that. All right, uh, the waterfall's on, everything looks good again. It's gonna take a while for the water to filter out. You gotta remember that all of this polyurea, not to mention the seaming and stuff like that, is all like a dust, right? Like almost like a stone dust. So obviously, you can wash this stuff as much as you want, but you're still gonna have some of that residue, and uh, it's gonna take several days to get this completely cleaned out. So we won't have an animal in here for at least a couple weeks. You know, obviously Ivy goes in in a couple weeks, but we've got a couple weeks to, number one, get all the chlorine out of the water, uh, make sure it clears up, get the whole thing. We're gonna also go through probably a bacteria plume where it gets clear and then gets cloudy again we'll wait till that clears up so uh all right this case looks like we're in good shape well guys we have a leak in the alligator cage here so uh uh, it looks like some fittings over here as well as the waterfall itself is leaking. I uh, have some water on the ground so we have to problem solve and hopefully we can get this thing fixed. Alright, so basically what's happening here is it looks like this piece right here is leaking. This kind of washer isn't on right. And then on the other side, all the way back over here, we have all kinds of leaks right here. So that is definitely a problem. I mean, there is a pretty good drip, especially on that far one over there. So what we have to do is basically get in here, figure out what's going on. My buddy Dan's coming here in a minute and uh, he He's gonna help me out with trying to figure this out. I mean, definitely a nightmare. The one thing I was really nervous about was water features leaking because that's that's a disaster. I mean, I come in one day and one of these things busts or something goes on and there's gonna be hundreds of gallons of water on the floor. So uh, hopefully, hopefully this is gonna be an easy fix. I'm definitely stressing out. What you doing, man? Um, messing with chicken strip a little bit. So 
what I've been trying to do with him since he's so afraid of the, the cage that um so actually you, you should come in come in a little bit and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right so what I'm doing is I'm letting him kind of crawl off me nicely but the thing is is that the trick here is that see how he corners himself he's a little scared and he's going to start to run. I want to put my hand in his way and get him to move. Come on. So that way he's used to this and I know this is sort of a provocative position here but and I'm hoping that by doing this a lot with him, he'll it will remove his whole fear where he thinks like we're trying to mess with him or hurt him. Now, like when every time he's always been in this cage, he always likes to go right up here to this corner and right back there. Every time he does it, he immediately puffs up. He, he has his tail moving backwards. He's upset. He's scared. You can tell his eye, his, his pupils are dilated. I really want him to stop thinking that, that that's that's where he needs to that's where he needs to feel safe. I want him to feel safe with me. The anaconda cage has the smallest little leak. And uh, by the way, this this reminds me of Wizard of Oz over here. What is Dan doing? So Dan is actually crawling in there, just a little tiny leak. He's just gonna put a clamp on. That one should be good. Uh, obviously salt and pepper, much bigger repair job. So uh, fingers crossed salt and pepper is gonna be okay. This one I'm not worried about. Salt and pepper is, is a disaster. But uh, again, the good thing is they're connections and not the actual tank itself. So we can kind of change the connection. Might be hard work for Dan, but at least uh, there's good hope that we're gonna get this thing resolved today. All right, my buddy here, Dan from Puts Pond. Uh, he's the one that does all my pond stuff, helps me out with tons of stuff. So what do you think we've got going on and are we going to be able to fix it? So right at the bottom of the biofalls, we've got a bulkhead fitting. That right. bulkhead fitting, either the washers are reversed okay. and we need to have the rubber on the inside instead of the outside okay. or it just needs to be tightened up. So I'm going to crawl underneath there. We'll tighten it first, see if it still leaks. If it still leaks, we're going to shut everything down, drain out the biofalls. Okay. Once we do that, we'll pull apart that bulkhead fitting and make sure that the uh, fittings in the right spot. Okay, cool. So easy, easy fix. Okay, good. A little tighter. Yeah, it's a little bit tighter pieces, there, but, uh, but no digging. <laughs> okay, good. I like it. All right, let's do it. So basically, in the biofall itself, there's actually a connection that goes to the drain that is actually like a seal that goes against the plastic, and then there's actually a little O-ring and stuff like that. So we're not getting a good seal because we have all of this silica, all this decoration here that's basically just not giving us a good seal. So we have to kind of clean that out, cut out some plastic, that should seal that side, and then the other side is probably just a matter of like the connections not having the proper amount of, proper amount of like, you know, I don't even know what you call it. The other side is probably just not having the connections tight enough as well as the seal and stuff like that. So uh, first thing, we're going to get all of the silica out of here as well, just because uh, it's just going to cloud things up. So we're going to shop back that out, cut that seal out, and hopefully uh, we'll continue to work on this problem and solve it. All right, picked up all my two by fours to start building the racks for the enclosures out here as well as in the massage room. So uh, uh, I think I got enough two by fours. I may have gotten too many, I'm not sure. I figured, you know, I'm just gonna get a bunch and hopefully I won't run out. All right, so Dan took off this fitting, kind of redid it. So hopefully this is gonna set. We're gonna actually wait about 20 minutes, see if it leaks. Uh, if this side is good, then we'll move on to the other side. If the other side just can't go, uh, Dan said he would just rip the entire part out and start over and kind of retool it. So. Uh, Either way, we'll get this fixed today, but uh, definitely uh, a little addition to my stress level for sure.
Okay, the rack is completely done now. Again, this will all be rock here. We'll have timbers on the edge here, so it'll kind of match, I realize it, but that is the last of the cages that kind of come in here, so it's pretty cool. Again, we've got, uh, I don't even know exactly what we're gonna put in. We've got three 30-inch cages, and then of course we've got three 36-inch cages, much like Flamin' Hot Cheeto and Ace the Delbridge Python, basically the same type of setup as we have over there. So uh, that's it. I do still have to work on the rack in the snake massage room, though. Dan wrapped up all the fixturing here on the waterfall, so uh, let's hope it worked because he had to get out of here, and uh, if it still leaks, I'm going to be in big trouble. I mean, uh, I, I guess one for three wasn't too bad, but uh, hopefully it was an easy fix for him anyways, and uh, hopefully this thing will work. All right, so the time is here. We've got it filled up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and test it out, hope for no leaks. Uh, hopefully this will be a crisis diverted. Dan uh, says that we should be good. So let's go ahead and turn this on and uh, fingers crossed. All right, so let's go ahead and check the fittings because the waterfall is on now. The fittings is going to be the trick here to make sure we don't have any drips. I don't see any drips so far. This is where it was dripping before over here. So that looks really good. The bigger part was this fitting over on the other side it was literally leaking like crazy. I don't see any drips there either. So we'll go ahead and let this run for the next, uh, you know, maybe half hour or something like that, just to make sure there's no wetness here. But uh, it looks like Dan did the job, so uh, there it goes. Good to have good friends. So, yep, I think we are good to go, and uh, looks like we have an alligator tank with the waterfall. A little recap of where we're at. We've got the anaconda waterfall going now, which is good. We've got, of course, this cage all lit up. The majority of the lights are on now. This cage has all the vineage in it and stuff like that. The stalactite over here. We've got, of course, some more vines and trees over here. And that's one of the things we did is we actually put all of the kind of vine and tree type of stuff. We, of course, now have the tank over here running and seems to be working well, which is great. Again, lights on over here, tree in the corner over here. Everything's kind of coming together. We got all the glass in the cages now, which is 100%, which is really cool. So we made a lot of progress. We're definitely way ahead of the game where I thought we were going to be. We still have a few weeks to open, of course, March 13th, Friday the 13th weekend. But even though we have a bunch of time, we, uh, we've we got a lot of work to still do. I'm not going to lie to you here. And again, we're going to have that VIP party Friday night and Saturday night, the 13th and 14th. So uh, tickets will be on sale anytime for that. But anyways, uh, coming together. I'm really proud of everything that we've done. You know, the help that we had was amazing. And uh, wow, I'm loving this place so much. I mean, it feels like home. It's finally starting to feel like home. What a crazy ride. I hope that you guys are enjoying this ride. If you do enjoy the things that we do, I started a podcast called Checking In. You can subscribe to that podcast channel. Of course, we had Stuart on. Definitely give that a listen. It was a lot of fun. You can watch a playlist of us building the new Reptarium. You can trust that there'll be another playlist coming up pretty soon right over here. Also over here, you can subscribe to the vlog channel. Please turn those post notifications on. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.